You want it waist high to you. Southerly. Ready? Yep. Ah, oh, get up! Oh. <laughs> that is unbelievably close. Playing for England should be the best time of your life as a player. And yeah. at the time, it probably wasn't. It was too much pressure, too much stress. Dan Carter, the thing he did where he hit his leg, and it was like a physical thing that almost got his mind back in. So I actually hit my leg in between every ball. So it's like, whatever's happened on the ball before, that's my way of going, right, what? next. Here he is, gets the park right outside, cricket royalty, Mr. Pope. Hi Dan, how Very are you? Nice to see you. Welcome to Walton Heath. Ah, oh, thanks for having me. We've sorted the weather out for you, That's isn't it? Golf weather, this. Can I see your clubs? Most importantly, come on, let's of get course. them out. Let's have a look. I'm intrigued by your boots as well. Okay, get the clubs out. I want to have a look round. Clean clubs always. Ready for action. What else is going on here? Manky flip flop. Couple of dog toys. Old sock. Old sock. <laughs> Probably the dog's fault. <laughs> uh, bit of paddle tennis. A every sport going. Bit of yoga. Okay. You name it. Isn't right. There? Should we uh, should we head to the course then? Let's do it. This is like my favourite walk. You know, the walk to the first tee. Oh, yeah. I don't know about you, but when I play golf, it is literally the only time I, I switch off. I think that's why I enjoy it so much. Yeah, definitely. I think it's phone on, do not disturb. And just, yeah, you sort of live, live in your own little bubble, whoever you're playing with. And... So this is Walton Heath, home of the AIG Women's Open late this year, when some of the world's best will be here. We're here today. No, we're not quite in that category. <laughs> in terms of golf when did you first sort of get into it as a young starter actually i reckon uh, i played all sports sort of seven and eight and then when i say playing golf i wasn't on the course just swinging in the back backyard uh You're annoyingly then, good at everything uh, no nah, i mean sport wise i'm okay <laughs> other than sport i'm pretty useless in life i've seen you swing you're a decent mover what sort of level are you playing off uh, I'm playing off 4.5 at the minute. Okay. That's the handicap, so I ran that up to five, especially on a windy day like <laughs> this. Desperate for shots already. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> While the big man's loosening up, I'm going to unleash. I just accept that as a brilliant TV shot, okay, and walk on. Yeah, <laughs> swivel the club, club, pick the tee up and walk on. Let's see the magic. Take it. That is majestic, Mr. Pope. Fairway. Cheers. I'm going to ask you a tough question now. I want to know the top five golfers in the England team, and are you in that top five? Yeah, I'd like to think <laughs> I'm in that top five. The best would be Crawley. Okay. Crawley hits it like a pro. He, he plays off, uh, I think he's one. Okay. Uh, Jimmy Anderson's a nice golfer. I think he's a three. I'd say myself in it third <laughs> off 4.5. Joe Root's a nice golfer. Yeah. I think he's off about six. He's got a good short game. A bit wayward off the tee, though. Uh, and then who else would come in? Stokesy there? plays. Stokesy's a good He hits it. As you'd expect, he hits it a mile. Josh Butler's a good golfer. Butler's a good golfer. He's a bandit, though. He should be playing off a lot less. Okay. He's got an amazing swing, but he just doesn't play enough golf. That's 251 yards, my friend. The wind's hit it. That'll work. Might need to sit. I'll try and bullet one of these, see where we get to. Oh, that's a lovely shot. I've just spotted it. This, this is your test number. Test number. Yeah, yeah. Is that on all, nice on all the clubs? Just all, all the wedges, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I've got your number for you now. This is 90 yards, probably playing 105, 110 something. Should tell you, there is a drone hovering over the hole just in case it goes in, all right? <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Come on. Get close. Get close. Oh, I'll take that. Oh, yes. I'll take that. <laughs> Buzzing with that. <laughs> Just be careful. It's quite, oh, it's quite hot. It's hot, is it? Come on, mate. Nice. That's right. It's a little Landed. outside yours. I'm disappointed by that. Oh, that's all right, though. Nah, nice shot. Hello? Hello? Oh. oh, you're joking. Get your shadow on it. Ah, oh, that's oh. right. I thought, I thought I was coming in from no, that you, side. You can have that. 
Thank you. You're so kind. <laughs> Oh, no. Ah, I tugged it. <laughs> you can have that. <laughs> Two decent paths. Story we'll of my those. life, that. <laughs> Missing those kind of putts. We're just a few weeks really away from the ashes, aren't we? How does your head feel about that, knowing what happened last time round in Australia? Good, a lot better than it did probably going into, into that series. That was obviously a tough trip. It was also a trip where we got put in a hotel room for basically 10 days before we were allowed out and things that aren't amazing for your mental health. Playing for England should be the best time of your life as a player. And yeah. at the time, it, it, it probably wasn't. It was too much pressure, too much stress. That's what uh, the guys like McCullum, Stokes and Rob Key have, have done is, is they've just made a test match week a fun week. We'll, we'll, we'll go out and play golf the day before after training. We'll then just talk about how good is this. We get to play at Lords in front of a packed house and just be a bit more sort of grateful for what we, we, we can do that week rather than think, oh, if I miss out, this could be yeah. my last one. Watching from the outside, Ben Stokes looks like well, just an incredible leader, but also somebody who is quite approachable, is open about flaws. Is that how he comes across to you in, in a dressing room and as a friend? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he's a, he's a superstar now. Like he's... Different we, planet. You, yeah. you travel the world with him and it doesn't matter what country we're in and he's getting recognised everywhere he goes. And, but the best thing about him, I think, is he'd sort of do anything for, for his team. I think there was a time after the Ashes where he, he thought I was better than I thought I was, to be honest. And that was... It's so always good to have someone like that in your corner, Exactly, and that's probably why I got picked when McCullum and Stokes got... Uh, when they came in, sorry. And he backed me for a long time, yeah, more than I backed myself, for sure. So, and he's brought that out of me now, so now I feel like I'm the player he, he feels I am too. Two solid pars. Look at this. Signature par three at Walton Heath. About 156-yard par three. We thought we'd go for an extra level of test for you. Um, you're obviously too good with a golf stick so what about uh your cricket bat this yeah. is test 100 in pakistan on this that's it yeah broken in the handle <laughs> but that that doesn't matter for the for the golf ball i mean this would be we talk about holding ones on a golf course have you ever had one i've never had one okay imagine with a cricket imagine bat. if you do it with a cricket bat that'd be decent straight on the phone to the rest of the boys yeah. <laughs> ah, don't i don't want to jinx it but there's a chance ah oh, pings what was i complaining about should draw around, I reckon. Okay, so what are you aiming straight at the flag? I'm gonna aim for the bunker and hopefully it'll draw around, but we'll see. Okay, now this is it's it's all on the, the throw. The, exactly, the throwing's important. Okay, okay. ready? Let's just do it. Okay, it's decent. Bit short left, I reckon. Bunker. Oh, what? Oh, just not far. Okay, off. bank of the bunker. Here we go. Oh, that's yes. the one. Come on. Come on. That's the one. That's got a sniff. Get in! Oh. <laughs> oh, that's decent. Just didn't spin back. I mean, it's hard to get spin with a cricket bat. Yeah, so I know. What's that, about 10 feet long? Sure. I could probably put that in from there. So, waist, you want it waist high to you? About, yeah, there. I reckon about there. Okay. Start on the Ready? Edge. Yep. Yes. Go. Yes. Go. Come on. Be Go. the right one. Oh, get up! <laughs> Oh man, that is unbelievably <laughs> close. How close is that? Oh, I hope that's as close as it looks. Oh man, that had me excited. I was planning my, I was planning my celebration. Yeah, you're, well, you're I, I go promised at least like, but <laughs> I probably ripped the chances. Oh, that looks nice. Come on. Could it be? Oh, oh. what a <laughs> shot that is. Great shot. That's all right, that. In your current walk of life, I imagine you come across some amazing sportsmen and women. Yeah. Are you one of those people, do you try and pick stuff up from them? Are you asking them or just sort of spending time in their presence and thinking, what can I learn from that person? Yeah, absolutely. I think there's a lot of, I think, especially I look at tennis, even golf as well. And I think there's so many things that can cross over and well, actually every single sport. Have you, have you got any gems you can drop on us? Who have you, who have you got something from? Um, probably Dan Carter, actually. I okay. think I was actually, you know what? This one's not even from speed. I was just listening to a podcast from him. I like this, this thing he did where he hit his leg and he cut, that was his like reset. Whenever he made a mistake, 
okay. think he would kick it, hit, hit his leg. And then it was like a physical thing that almost got his mind back in. It was like, right, that's happened next. So I actually hit my leg now, both legs, just because it's uh, slightly different, <laughs> in between every ball. So it's like, whatever's happened on the ball before, that's my way of going, right, wow. next. So when we see you in the ashes, like hitting, do you do it like it's this? No, you... no, it's literally, it's quite subtle as well. It's just that, that. Okay. So, so that's every inspired ball. by Do Dan Carter. The, every time in the nets is I inspired by Dan Carter, yeah. I don't know about you, I'm, I'm a bit gutted you're not close to oh, that. I know, I didn't get the spin that I actually asked for. So This, this is mine, we're both about eight, ten feet away. Yeah. I think you've pitched here though. Yeah, I know. Disappointed actually. You need to work on your backspin with your back. Yeah, that, that, that's <laughs> enough. To be fair, I think if I did backspin it, it would have gone back over my head to be right, okay. Come on! Yeah. <laughs> oh, round the edges as well. Nice. That, that is a proper birdie. Oh, I'll take that. That was travelling as well. That was going to go off the green, I think. And that was first take, by the way. None of this. How many pots did you have? Yeah, that was it. Oh, that did break. Good effort. Just another tap in par. Easy, isn't it, golf? Could, yeah. <laughs> could, could be worse. I feel like we need to tell people you just made a, a birdie with a cricket bat. There should need to be a crowd around here. We need to sort of inform people. We've got four guys there, but I don't think they're too fast to finish. You stay here, I'll go and tell them. <laughs> <laughs> right, next hole. Yep. Slightly different challenge. 404 yard par four, but you can only have one club. Okay. Uh, it's either a nine iron or a six iron, so you choose one and I'll have the other one. So. I hit up and let me know what you think. Four I four, damn wind. It's got to be two six irons for me. Okay, so I'll, I'll be stuck with a nine iron. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you can have... Let's see how we get on. That looks longer than 404 yards. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, and then it's going to sling round. Yeah. That's annoyingly good again. Look at that with a nice... smile on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Just going to trust the power. Might put my back out with this swing. Last shot. Pure strike. That has gone absolutely nowhere. Is that a bit of fair weather? It's gonna have to be a big six, but it's doable. I think I think you've got this in you. Oh, I pushed it right. Pope in trouble. Big trouble. Can Walker deliver the goods? Oh. Come on, come back! I could be on the road. You were about here, weren't you? Yeah, I think I can see it. Just looks like a solid six iron to me. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like your positive thinking. Right, there's a few things I can do with this. No way. That's a steady shot. Get down. It's okay, I'll take that. Five, six. Oh, I'll that down. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at this. Agricultural. I don't want to touch a bit of grass because it's just going to end in the bunker. Oh, get in. That's better. Class. Quick putt. A six with a six iron. Let's see. Feels, feels right. Oh, you joking. So what you're saying Seven. Is, I've got this for the win. <laughs> okay. Oh, he hasn't. I felt that it was right that, we, that I didn't win that because uh, <laughs> all good. It's all about having a nice day together. Exactly, well that's it. Good game. Feel free to cut the entire last hole. Just put the, the two before that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just get the birdies and the pies and we'll be all right. Thank you so much for spending a bit of time with us today. Yeah, cheers, it's it's been fun. a real pleasure to get an insight into what goes on upstairs, but also what makes you such a, a brilliant young cricketer who's got hopefully a fantastic future ahead of him. Hopefully, hopefully. And on the golf course as well. Yeah, right? well, well, great golf for great cricketer. Yeah, Thank cheers. you so much. Thanks for having me. It's been Take good care. fun. Right, go away. I don't want to see you anymore. <laughs>